here at the Feast of the Exaltation of the Life Giving Cross, we hear this short uh, uh, gospel reading from the book of Mark, where he reminds us that in order to be a true disciple and follower of Christ, that we too have to kind of pick up the cross of Christ that he has that he had borne in his life, and we have to bear it ourselves. That the cross, though it seems kind of ludicrous, being weak and, and enduring infirmities and uh, injustices and just the weaknesses of our humanity actually gives us strength and gives us life. Right? It's a paradox of our Christian faith that's hard to understand, but in order to gain life, we have to lose our, our current life. And we have to give up our will in this world, and then we have to follow Christ to the cross and bear it. And this is how we attain our salvation. And so we bring out the cross this week, and we have it before us as a reminder of that weapon that was used to gain our salvation. But the cross doesn't have to be just put in the center of the church and left there once or twice a year for us to really uh, meditate on the fact that the cross, as a symbolic tool, as a weapon, is used by us every day. The sign of the cross. The sign of the cross. It's, it means it might be a little bit rudimentary to preach upon this today, but I'd like to go over what the sign of the cross means. The sign of the cross, the cross is the sign of our salvation. And when we do it in our Eastern Rite, we use the three fingers, right? We push them together, and we touch our forehead, and then our navel, and our right shoulder, and our left shoulder. And we do it piously, not in a rush. We do it because it is truly the salvation that Christ won for us on the cross, being signed over our own bodies, as if we were a bearer of the same cross. And those three fingers pushed together, brothers and sisters, is a reminder of the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It's theologically significant. And these two fingers pushed up against our hand tells us and reminds us that Christ was truly a man and truly he was God. And so when we do this simple, pious act of crossing ourselves and making the sign over our entire body, not in a rush, but in a pious way, we're confirming the realities of our faith, the true confession that we, we often say in the creed, that we believe in the Trinity, that we believe in Christ as God and as a human that came to save us, and that we bear the cross upon us as he did, and that we would use it to protect ourselves, because the cross truly has power. As the Troparian says, this is by the virtue of thy cross, Another way of saying virtue would be a power. Some, some people actually translate it. And it is a powerful thing, the cross. It's a powerful thing because the evil one flees from it. And it's a powerful thing because it gives us hope. And it gives us grace. And it gives us the will to go on in this world that is often full of many crosses in our lives. And so it's a reminder of our salvation. It's a reminder of the faith that we hold. And so we have to do this properly. Not with an open head. This is not how we do it. We, there's a reason we do it this way. To remind us. And we have to think about it when we make that sign of the cross. How to do it properly. And why we're doing it. And we should do it at all times. We should do it during our prayers. We should do it as we enter into the church. We should enter do it when we pass a church in our car, when we pass a cemetery, whenever we are in a, uh, a time of temptation in our lives, we have to cross ourselves. It is powerful. It saves and it protects us. I don't know how. Personally, I don't know how that that helps, but it helps. I know for a fact. Anytime I'm in a temptation, I cross myself and I feel better. I know that the power of the Lord, is, and that He did on the cross is with me. And me being a disciple and a bearer, that his grace will come to me. And he'll give me the strength to get through what I'm going through. And then the same goes for all of you, brothers and sisters. It is a powerful thing. So let us not do the cross so hastily. Let us not take it for granted that we've done it a million times in our lives and we grew up doing it. But we never think about what we do when we make the sign of the cross. We are confirming our faith when we make the sign of the cross. We're confirming the salvation that Christ has given to each and every one of us, and we're asking for his help 
His divine assistance in our lives each time we do it. And we cross ourselves because it is a silent blessing upon us now. And we also need to cross ourselves in public more often. Christ in the, in the uh, Gospel today says that those who are embarrassed of my words, embarrassed of my teaching, I will not remember you in the kingdom. We cannot be embarrassed to be Christians. We cannot be embarrassed to be bearers of the cross, those who wear the cross as a disciple of Christ. Oftentimes we don't like to make a show of our faith in public. We don't want to impose ourselves on people. We are in a restaurant and we don't want to make the sign of the cross over ourselves or our food because it's kind of showy and makes us uncomfortable. But brothers and sisters, you have to. This is the salvation that Christ gave us. He gave us the cross as a powerful weapon. It wasn't a one-time event where Christ had died on it. It continues to give us life. The cross continues to provide for us. And we cannot be ashamed to cross ourselves in public. Whenever it is that we are tempted, whenever it is we're going to eat, Whatever it is, we just need it. Don't be ashamed of it. If we're ashamed, then Christ will be ashamed of us. I don't see people crossing themselves very often. The Catholics would hold the same kind of understanding of the cross, though we do it differently. We have some symbolic differences. And this country is full of Catholics, and I do not see the sign of the cross done at all. At our workplaces, at our schools, out in public, it's not done. We need to do it more, and we need to do it properly, and we need to do it we need to understand why we do it, brothers and sisters. And we need to sign up with people. When other people tempt us, when other people are kind of aggressive towards us, the best thing we can do is to bless them. Right? We need to bless them. Put the sign of the cross upon them and let the Lord help them because they need that assistance if they are attacking, if they are living a life not worthy of, of calling themselves a Christian. Maybe they're not Christian. It's okay. It, it won't hurt. Bless them. The best thing we can do in our life is bless ourselves and bless others with the sign of the cross. Indeed, mothers and grandmothers bless their children when they go to bed, when they go off to school. It's okay. We should be blessing those children. You should be doing it. Again, there is power in grace in the sign of the cross. It's the sign of our salvation. And when the priest blesses you, you accept that blessing because it is coming from the Lord as a sign of power. Oftentimes, as a priest these days, you sign and bless and try to give a blessing and people look at you and like you're crazy. Accept the blessing. It's coming directly from the Lord by the servant of his hand, uh, the, the hand of his servant. Accept it. Venerate it. Do not be ashamed to kiss your priest's hand in public, brothers and sisters. It's a great blessing directly from the Lord. Oftentimes I extend my hand and I get walked away from. You're not walking away from me. You're walking away from the blessing of the Lord and His cross. You're a bearer. Accept it. So today, brothers and sisters, it's just a simple reminder to all, to all of you I know who know this. But the sign of the cross is the sign of our salvation. And that there's some symbolic meaning that is a reality in our lives. That when we do it, we confess the Lord to be one of the Trinity. We confess Him to be truly God, truly human that came to save us on the cross. And that the cross is truly powerful. There's virtue in doing it. We get power and grace when we make the sign of the cross with piety and with intent. Not when we don't understand what we're doing. Not when it seems like we're just washing our face. We do it the proper way. And God will bless us and protect us and save us. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.